so here we go so uh, thumb protection circuit design so uh, what I am going to do in this circuit design uh, I'm told uh, I'm told before uh, this thumb protection circuit means if I switch on that uh, amplifier there uh, then the speakers give some boom sound so what we had to go into cut off this signal we cannot use also filters so we what is that uh, what is our method is I'm going to make uh, some delay circuit uh, what does it do, do? What, what does it do actually uh, delay circuit means uh, if I power on the switch, power on the amplifier then it's uh, it gives some delay to connection of the speakers speaker wires connection is some give uh, take some delay so then after that delay uh, we can mm, cut off that signal totally so what I am going to do uh, I had to make a delay okay delay so in electronics there I have a lot of delay circuits we can use many many uh, components and many many type of circuits uh, very popular one is uh, NE5555 IC I think you, everyone you know this IC this popular IC NE5555 IC uh, can we use this no we cannot use this why because this is IC it have lot of transistors so if you know NE5555 NE5, IC also have a self flip so we cannot use 5355 5355 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, IC. Why? Because it have also transistors, then it have also some propagational delays. So we can use like this ICs for this, uh, this purpose. Uh, also same, we can use microcontrollers. What we what we need? If I power the amplifier, it's that that this delay circuit is also get uh, very first. This delay circuit may get uh, start to work. That's the first one. That is the very first one. Uh, then, then after every circuit can powered. So what I am going to do? I cannot use like these ICs. So then we had to go to another uh, something delay circuit. Uh, in electronics, there I have they ha they have some circuit called we call as RC circuit. It also have some resistor, some capacitor. There's no nothing, very simple, very simple, very clear. What is that circuit is? This is we call as R, this is what we call as C. Uh, in here, plus VCC, I can take. This is we call as RC circuit, resistor and capacitor series. Don't tick, this is not a low pass filter. This is also RC circuit. With this, we had to make some delay circuit. Same scenario, same scenario. What is going to happen in here? Uh, if I provide some voltage to here, capacitor may get fast charge. Capacitor may get pull the current very fast. If I power this amplifier, if I power that switch circuit, this capacitor may get charged very quickly rather other than every uh, every other circuit don't get a start uh, before uh, pre uh, this is capacitor may get charged uh, so other circuit so if I uh, then how to make our circuit in this yes uh, in here uh, this capacitor is giving a lot of uh, thing to do in here there are have some pink as assume if we assume like this something resistor connectors so in here what is going happening if I provide some voltage to here capacitor may get pull the current to here very firstly capacitor is very firstly activated that it's also pull the current to here there's no going current in charging according to charging this here there's no current flowing in here it's pull it, it's pull the current to here so that's why I am using this method. There is no propagation or delay. It is very simple. Resistor and capacitor is only. Capacitor may get fast charge 
as soon as if I power the power supply, if I power this one, its current pull into here, then it gets start to charge. So, what I am going to do? Now everything is fine. Uh, there I have some RC network, then we can take uh, some delay. Uh, then I had to make some uh, switch between speaker connection according to this time constant. Uh, wait, uh, I'm explaining about the uh, another uh, in here. Uh, there I have, we call this circuit as a RC time. There I have some two equations. One equation for charging of the capacitor. Another equation is for discharging of this capacitor. There I have some, there in here, uh, the capacitor discharging or charging, there I have some delay. Uh, there I have so two equations. Uh, I'm uh, I'm talking about uh, I I'm using this two equation for this uh, uh, making this circuit. Uh, if we first we check uh, this if first we check uh, charging uh, equation. So in here. I will move this one. In here, we assume as voltage in capacitor, voltage is uh, voltage drop is if we take as a V. So I can write an equation V equals Vs time 1 minus e to the power minus T divided by RC. This is the main equation for charging time. This T is the charging time seconds. R is ohms, C is cap uh, farads. R is resistor, R C is a capacitor. E is you know E is a, e, if E has some value in uh, in, in max there have some value E equals seven point five. Uh, likewise, uh, there have a lot of numbers to here. I'm not going to write E as I, I take it at e, e as E. So what is Vs? Vs is here. Power our voltage of the supply into resistant capacitor. Then across this voltage we take as a Vs. V is the capacitor voltage in, in here. So let's assume E. Uh, this is a scientific calculator. I think you know. Uh, if I provide E, this is E, uh, then this is the value of this one, 2.7132. I'm not going to write in here, uh, we take as a E, it's easy to uh, calculate. Okay. So, everything is fine. If I apply some value of R, if, you, if I apply some T to here, then I can find R and C according to I am giving voltage no problem so what uh, uh, I am resisting ok anyhow now we can take some delay uh, but there have a lot of problem then uh, I am talking about uh, some connection cut uh, uh, switch some switch automated switch to uh, disconnect the speaker uh, speaker connection uh, some delay uh, some taking some delay and then after it connected automatically then uh, I can power the speaker then no problem there's no sound that that light of that like of noise so in here this is my point this is my point what I can get into here if I talk that uh, e uh, exponential function e equal as that type of equation e to the power minus t divided by rc like this e can e also can we can take as some exponential function likewise if i take as a charging charging curve it's like some like in something like this a curve this is we call as time this is we call as a voltage this is like if you know in max uh, exp, exponential function also like some curves there's no some 
square like type so they are like not this is not linear this is also curve so then according to that if i like point uh, if i take this point then i can uh, what i am going to do in here i am going to uh, get this voltage what is the capacitor charging voltage then i am going to do some experiment i am going to do some switching method uh, in here switching method then i have a lot of component in electronics to switch transistors mosfet fet uh, another is a relay can we use transistors no we cannot use transistors so why because if i take uh, if in audio we give some sine waves i take like this sine wave plus 50 volts minus 50 volt we take assume my audio power signal sine wave is like this uh, then it's some if i take some uh, it's some 200 volts so what i what i had to do if i some somehow this take this time and then i'm switching on this transistor delay transistor pair i have to use a transistor pair why because if i take then this is like the sine wave then have a plus voltage and minus voltage i had to uh, switch to in method so i had to use some like this type of transistor pair then then can only i can uh, control that voltage uh, levels but it's of 200 volt definitely wrong they are have some out power it, it's also same to the power stage of that amplifier so this is not good actually uh, we can't use like this transistors mosfet to do here uh, what i am going to do i had to use another method which is contacting which is contacting uh, so i'm I'm trying to make uh, some relay. Relay can also can handle uh, la much larger than of current. Then uh, also it can uh, it's, it's also contacted. So there's no like transistors. So there's no voltage uh, cases. So what I'm going to do? I'm using relay to here. Uh, relay. This is the symbol of this relay. This is normal close one, we can see. This is common. This is we call as normal open. So this is my sort of normal relay system. This is some relay. So what I'm going to do, I put plus voltage and minus voltage, then I can switch this, uh, this between. Then I can cut off and uh, cut off and on this uh, speaker line. I'm connected to speaker to here. No problem. I put uh, some uh, output of this amplifier to here. If, if I go into power input of the output of the amplifier via speaker by then after I can to relay in here a normal open one to speaker. Then after that constant time after that time it's also get uh, magnetize then switch also get to here so no problem this contact and uh, pass in the uh, volt uh, pass in the signal no problem so i can use relay uh, there are some problem how could we connect to this relay to end circuit there i have some problem uh, this is the point what i am going to make if we take as uh, if i going to provide the uh, i am using 12 volt relay then i had to power 12 volts then after capacitor charge to up to 12 volts then relay can may get turned on uh, but the this problem is uh, this have some resistor and this there have some capacitor so if i take some get more delay we had to definitely we had to use some high resistance and some high high capacitor uh, 
resist the, then after this circuit cannot handle that's what current to control like this type of relays uh, that is the case it's it's have not uh, it, it have not uh, that much current to control the relay so i had to use some another method to uh, switch this relay another method to switch this relay this is for switching the speakers it's another method to switching connection between this circuit and this relay circuit so what i am going to do i am going to use a transistor for here very simple transistor also you know transistor also can handle uh, relays no problem Uh, you know there I have some diode. Uh, this uh, if we talk, if after all we what is this diode? Uh, this is put we as a back EMF uh, destroy that be back EMF of this relay. Uh, here the relay. So so this is the relay. Then after it's we can connect as a ground. Uh, you can put here so this is the circuit then what is what is uh, we cannot use this circuit actually we cannot use this circuit uh, why because you know uh, there are some big problem what is that in we call uh, this is NPN transition no problem uh, this is we call as base, this is we call as collector, this is what we call as emitter. What is is going, uh, if I pro, if I, if I get turn on this transistor, if I, we had to provide some voltage across in uh, emitter to, base to emitter. So, we know normal NPN transistor, silicon transistor also have some voltage drop according to VBE. Uh, v, VBE, uh, v, uh, silicon, we call as 0. Point 6 volts. If if we take a germanium transistor, it's also 0 0.3 volts. This is very small voltage. What is happening? If I provide some voltage to here, capacitor may get uh, increasing charging, charging voltage. Then comes to 0 0.6 volt, transistor may get turned on. Uh, but the case is, everything is perfect, but, but the case is, the 0 0.6 volt is small voltage. Uh, actually, if I provide some high voltage, the capacitor may get char increase the charging voltage. Yeah, if we take this one, that that ch charging curve, it's also like something like this. It's near to is is near to. I think we assume this one and this one. Uh, this distance also uh, very large to like this distance. So time is very small. If I take 0 0.7 volt, actually it is like in here. 0 0.6 volt. You can see very small time. So this is not used. This is not a perfect circuit. So I had to go to another method. What I'm what I'm trying to do, uh, if I somehow I have, uh, if in capacitor voltage also same to this here. This is also same, no? grounded. So this voltage also in here. I if I some using some method. Uh, to increase this voltage this, that is the method what I am going to do uh, I am trying to make some voltage across this here very large voltage than 0 0.6 volt so definitely uh, if you think some time you can use some resistor for here this is a one method uh, if I take some resistor this time is not actually this not constant why because if there is some voltage into here also this voltage drop is not perfect we cannot get like that voltage uh, vary according to vary this voltage also may get vary so there I have a lot of problem we cannot use resistor so what I'm going to do I am using some another method Uh, I'm going to use some senor diode for here. Senor diode, we call it senor diode. What is senor diode? Normal diode, but it 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 some 
uh, for which special purpose it is doing special purpose this is the symbol of the phenyl diode uh, there are some, uh, you, I am not going to explain say, what is phenyl diode uh, so what I am going to do I am put to phenyl diode this is the plus voltage plus to, uh, anode is here anode is here in phenyl diode what I am going to what I am going to do I am putting into here uh, plus voltage is coming in here current is flowing like this like this so I have to I cannot reverse this one I have to put into here the same thing so we said what is happening this diode also voltage is very constant voltage this 0 0.6 volts also in there no problem they have some 0 0.6 volts so what is happening I can write another rewrite some equation for this capacitor voltage Record, across this capacitor voltage I can write this, this like of Vz plus 0 0.6 this is the new circuit what I am going to do if I 12 volt if I if I add 12 volt center diode to here uh, definitely 12 volt may get to here then after 12.6 volt then I can increase voltage very quickly no problem so it is uh, may get uh, better to into here so if somehow uh, someone has some uh, problem here there are have some uh, you know center diode all, every, every diode have some uh, leakage current we call it as a leakage current in center diode uh, actual leakage current if we take this uh, this is the center diode uh, curve this is voltage uh, so this is this is sorry this is the current this is the voltage so according to this voltages center diode like this purpose of like this and this is like purpose of like this this is the normal center diode curve it's like something like this uh, we using like this type of normal diode is here uh, this is the our V set V center uh, what is going in here uh, in here some uh, leakage current something like uh, something leakage current so this leakage current is not affected to this circuit because it also uh, we can we can measure in practical uh, it's also something like uh, 30 milli 30 microampere or something no problem 30 microampere is very small one so it not affected to here so that's why i'm choosing center diode no problem uh, so anyhow uh, this is the circuit so now I can re rewrite that equation V equals Vs 1 minus e to the power minus T divided by RC this is the this is the, this is the normal volt equation so what I am doing uh, I am replace this voltage as V Z plus 0 0.6 Vs 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by rc okay this is the final charging equation what i am uh, what i can uh, derive so this is our this is our circuit uh, normal calculation so very simple you can use uh, you can every you, uh, remember this is also electrolytic capacitor Uh, now I'm going to uh, take some another thing. Uh, okay, uh, let's try to uh, make the circuit. Then after uh, we can. Uh, try to uh, another uh, another method thank you